Speaker, the member for South Staffordshire told a civil servant to slit their throat. How does the Prime Minister think the victim of that bullying felt when he expressed great sadness at his resignation? Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, unequivocally the behaviour complained of was unacceptable and it is absolutely right, it is absolutely right that the right honourable gentleman has resigned. For the record, I did not know about any of the specific concerns relating to his conduct as Secretary of State or Chief Whip, which date back some years. I believe that people in public life should treat others with consideration and respect, and those are the principles that this government will stand by. Mr Speaker, the member for South Staffordshire spent years courting the idea he can intimidate others, blurring the lines to normalise bullying behaviour. It's precisely why the Prime Minister gave him a job. The truth is simple. He's a pathetic bully, but he would never get away with it if people like the Prime Minister didn't hand him power. So does he regret his decision to make him a government minister? Mr Speaker, I obviously regret appointing someone who has had to resign in these circumstances. But I think think what the British people would like to know is that when situations like this arise, that they will be dealt with properly. And that's why... And that's why it is absolutely right that he resigned, and it's why it is absolutely right that there is an investigation to look into these matters properly. I said my government would be characterised by integrity, professionalism and accountability, and it will. Mr Speaker, everyone in the country knows someone like the member for South Staffordshire, a sad middle manager getting off on intimidating those beneath him. But everyone in the country also knows someone like the Prime Minister, the boss who is so weak, so worried the bullies will turn on him, that he hides behind them. What message does he think it sends when, rather than take on the bullies, he lines up alongside them and thanks them for their loyalty? Mr Speaker, the message that I clearly want to send is that integrity in public life matters. And that is why... That is why it is right that the right honourable member has resigned. It is why it is right that there is a rigorous process to examine these issues. But as well as focusing on this one individual, it is also right and important that we keep delivering for the whole country. And that is why this government will continue to concentrate on stabilising the economy, on strengthening the NHS and on tackling illegal migration. Those are my priorities. Those are the priorities of the British people, and this government will deliver on them. Mr Speaker, does the Prime Minister remember back in February when he was Chancellor of the Exchequer, when I I informed him that due to his incompetence in that job, the children in my constituency would go to bed that night with no food in their tummy and no heat in their homes? What is he now going to do as Prime Minister to make sure that in every community in our country, children aren't in that situation in this hard winter ahead. Well, Mr Speaker, the absolute best way to ensure that children do not grow up in poverty, which is something that none of us want to see, is to ensure that they do not grow up in a workless household. And the record under these governments is that 700,000 fewer children are growing up in workless households, and that's because Conservative governments create jobs for people, Mr Speaker, and that's the best anti-poverty strategy that we have. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, under the Prime Minister's short premiership, he's had one minister resign and one that urgently needs to be sacked. Can the Prime Minister clarify to the House and the rest of the country when the scheduled programme of integrity, professionalism and accountability will begin. Uh, Mr Speaker, it's precisely because I want a government characterised by integrity, professionalism and accountability 
that the right honourable gentleman was right to resign, and it's right that we have an independent process. That's the type of government I will lead. When situations like this arise, we will deal with them properly, and that's what we have done.